today we are going to mix some colors using these three markers. These are my primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. To get started, I'm going to use the yellow marker and make a series of lines and create the shape of a rectangle. Again, I'm using the broad side of that big Crayola marker to get nice, thick lines. Okay, I keep going a little bit here again. I'm going to make a rectangle. Next, I can use either one of these colors. In class, we chose blue, so I'm just going to use blue again. Picking about halfway through that rectangle shape, just picking a, a spot, doesn't matter where, start drawing another series of blue lines, creating another rectangle. This one's going to be a little bit longer. As you can see, if you haven't noticed already, where I overlap these colors, I got a new color. I mixed my yellow with my blue and I got green. All right, next I'm going to repeat that process with my red marker. Start about halfway in that blue rectangle and work my way out. Wow, that was a big color shift. Nothing changed, I just switched from printing over the blue onto the white paper and you see that shift. This one I think you can see. So my blue, yellow, and red are my primary colors. And these colors I got in between is how I made them. Next, I have to do these two colors. Think of it as wrapping around, so that yellow is going to line up with this red. This one's kind of hard to see. The red is really dark and this yellow is really light. So this one is not as obvious. I can't see it as well. But that's okay, we're going to end up cutting this into little pieces anyway to add to our beaker our mixing beaker again this is my potion I'm gonna mix this potion here on paper and then we're gonna cut it up and mix it in our little test tube our beaker so again red and yellow made this orange I can see it really well you might not see it as well on the screen. Next, I'm just going to cut this shape out that I made. It's really kind of cool by itself. I really like it. But we're going to cut these colors out. So I'm always cutting away from my body. I'm never cutting towards myself. Going slow. I don't need that white part. So next, we're just going to cut this up into pieces. We want to mix this mix into our test tube, into our beaker, into our mixing container. You could cut along the, the lines that the colors made. You could fold it. I showed you folding in class. That was kind of fun. Um, you could also just, you know, cut it up however you wanted to, as long as you're careful. Uh, I'm going to fold it again. I like that. You can fold it however you want. You can turn corners. I'm thinking of trying to cut some round shapes. See what happens. It's always kind of fun to see where things end up getting cut. That's kind of cool. Just check the back. Now I'm going to cut 
another round shape out of this side. Open that up. I'm going to use the whole piece so no pieces go to waste here. We're going to, we want to make sure we get all of our colors in our potion. Maybe here I cut a, a straight line. So I've got some curvy lines and I have some straight lines that I've created. There we go. We Now we have like these little triangle shapes. That's kind of fun. Next, I'm going to take the rest of it and just cut it in half in a couple spots. So that was the leftover after I cut out my fun shapes. I just cut that big leftover shape into a few pieces. Maybe you just cut it once, maybe you cut it twice. Now I have big shapes, little shapes, and some really strange shapes that were created from the leftovers. While you're doing this, I want you to think how this potion is going to affect the person that receives the potion. What kind of a potion are you making? And you can think about that until the very end. There's my pieces. Next, we'll make our beaker. On another piece of paper, just use a marker, kind of draw a shape. Again, I was thinking of like a a science test tube or a beaker. So I'm thinking about that shape for mine. Go ahead and use your own idea. Again, I saw some of you using a, a kitchen pot. Try to draw that. Okay. Inside my beaker, I want to put some kind of a liquid. So I'm just going to draw a shape in here. I'm leaving a little bit of room at the top because I'm going to label my potion. Again, you can be thinking about what, what does your potion do? I'm just using a gold colored pencil here just to kind of play along with the idea of gold at the end of the rainbow. I made a little rainbow. You can use whatever color you want. You can collage this. You can use a marker. You could even leave it white if you want to. Color of the paper. That would be fine. I just think this makes it look a little more fun. Now I'm ready to put my mix into the mix. So first I'm going to put my little label up here and I'm just going to leave that blank until I get done. I'm going to give myself the rest of this project time to think about what this potion is going to do. So I have my pieces. I have my glue stick. And I'm just going to start by putting some glue on this area. Now I can just kind of stick them down as I go. I might want to put a little bit of glue on the back if I'm going to overlap. You want to put all your pieces in there. So you're going to end up overlapping some of these shapes. And that's kind of cool. Have fun. Put colors different colors next to each other, different shapes next to each other. Put some round shapes by some of your straight shapes, your squares, your rectangles, your ovals. Not, I don't know what to call that shape. Looks like a pair of pants. Again, I'm just I'm really just collaging it as I go. There's no real way to do that. Again, these are my little mixed potions. 
mixing together again so i'm imagining that they're just kind of floating around in the water or in the, in this case in the gold color and there we go one more little piece here there all right there is my potion now again I wanted you guys to be thinking about what your potion does and I think I'm going to I got an idea this potion has already had its effect on me My potion makes you hungry. I can't wait to see what you come up with for your own potion.